So today we're going to be talking about creating barcode labels. It is a three-step process, very simple, and we're just going to be walking through that. So a quick introduction, uh, barcode labels are the machine scannable symbols that represent product codes, um, which we'll talk about later. And you can use barcodes to both track inventory and identify individual products. So what that looks like is a associate or yourself is scanning in products and your inventory through your point of sale system is automatically updating um, and letting you know the, how the levels are changing and how that product is performing. And then you can also scan a barcode and just pull up an individual product page where it'll have the sizing information and a product description and other things like that. So um, moving on. Step one for creating your barcode is going to be creating a product code. And the product codes are numeric and symbolic sequences that you assign to your merchandise. Typically, there are two main types of product codes. You're going to have your universal product code, which is used mainly by manufacturers and private sellers, um, people who are making their own products and um, selling lots of them. Um, and what, how that works is you create a product and then you contact GS1, Global Standard 1, and they are just a standardizing agency that will get you a standardized barcode that um, you can use to, you have to have it to sell that product on Amazon or to, um, for looking up that product online, things like that. Um, they do cost money. Universal product codes are going to be $250 for 10 codes. Um, but the idea is that you should be creating those in bulk. So those 10 codes are going to be on lots of different products or lots of the same product. Um, and then there are SKUs or stock keeping units. And these are numeric sequences that you create um, yourself. They're custom. They can be random or you can customize them to the product you products you have. So let's say you have a department store. Everything in the women's section, the first number of the code would be one, men's section two, kids section three, and so on. Um, you could make it make sense for your inventory. And this is free. Creating your own product codes is free. You just take those, input them into your um, computer, and go from there. Um, step two is you're going to be making a barcode for each product. So you've got your product code generate product codes generated, um, all set to go, and they are put into your um, point of sale system or other inventory management system. Um, and you have three options pretty much for um, creating your barcodes. You can either use an online generating tool, which we have one at the top of this article that's very easy to use. Um, it looks like this. You just enter your product codes, select the type of barcode you have, which will depend on the point of sale system and the scanner that you have. So just cross-reference that um, and then generate my, bar my barcode and it will create a barcode for you. Um, your next option is if, you've, you, if you're using a point of sale system um, like Square for retail, once you have put in your product codes, there will already be a generated corresponding barcode for that product that you can print from your point of sale system. Um, and then you can also get a portable barcode printer, which this is very simple to use. It's great for like smaller operations and if you're a mobile operation, um, and you can just put in your product code and it will print it right there from the, um, printer, the little label maker, I guess. Um, so moving on to step three, this is the printing step. This is the easiest part. Um, you just have to decide which printer you're going to use, and then be sure you get the right kind of paper um, and have the right settings set up on your printer. And we go through more of that in the article. Um, so you're gonna have either a laser or inkjet printer, um, and you can just create your barcodes, um, generate them into a document or a PDF, and then print them. Um, then there are thermal label printers, which use, they don't use ink, they use heat um, to create a, ribbon of pigment on the paper that you're using. And um, so that's great if you're printing in bulk, you'll never have to worry about running out of ink. Um, or you can use an online um, label source, like online labels, where you can order your labels online and they will send and print them to you. Um, so get generating and uh, enjoy having a great inventory management process.